guys, welcome back. This is gonna be like the video that you guys wanna know what all the words are, okay? So, this is sip, yes. This is down, yes. Sip, back up. So this will be come, sip, come, yes. Stay. <laughs> oh, he, he got me there. Stay. His release is okay. No. Sit. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Good. Alright. Okay. This is gonna be... This is gonna be... Okay. This is gonna be uh, out if he had it in his mouth. But you're good. Good boy, come on. But out, good. He really wants the food right now. But that's out, all right? Now, uh, we're gonna toss it and tell him, leave it. Leave it, yes. See so he knows leave it. Now I'm also going to tell them to do the same thing for food. Leave it. Bullet. They see you didn't pay attention that time. So this time, I'm going to use the bottom button. Leave it. They went for that. And at the same time, I was able to back it up and put him under pressure. So by him getting closer to that, and I told him to leave it, I put him under some pressure, which taught him the closer you go there, uh, the more pressure you're falling under. Now, um, he just realizes that's pressure, and so very, to turn off pressure, he doesn't need to either put his mouth on that or he needs to walk away from it. And I just pair the word leave it with it. So you could pair you could pair any word with it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Good. As soon as I said leave it, I put him under stimulation. He goes, whoa, I do not want that. And I said, well, don't touch it. And he stopped right in his tracks. All right. So... A lot of this comes down to pressure and praise, meaning that if he understands how to solve a puzzle, this puzzle is to sit, then we can pair any word with it, such as sit, or uh, I don't even have to pair a word with it, or we can teach him Spanish, which is siéntate, and then he'll know siéntate. He'll know leave it uh, for pressure, so sit, leave it. he knows them, but at the same time, if we're not backing up what we say and he can take advantage of us and not listen to those words, and we don't put him under pressure for not listening, then it's all going to go by the wayside. So I don't want you to be fixated on the words, but I did want to do a little tutorial. Stay. Okay. Leave it. Leave it. You see, even though I told him to leave it, he still was already in motion because I released him and I went back on my word and I wasn't able to put him under pressure fast enough to stop the motion or the release that I had already started. So the words are important. Uh, I would rather you guys be consistent with the words that you use, but I did want to put a little tutorial out here to tell you the words that he knows or I have been using for the last two weeks during the training to get him to start to understand, okay? Um, he probably understands the inflection of my voice just as much as he does the words um, because something like leave it or stay has a very pronounced um, couple syllables in it or it's the tone of my voice, whereas like come or good boy or good, he understands that's very positive and it generates reward. So. Um, Anywho, I am going to put this probably, because I use the same words for everything, I'm going to put it on a page on my website and I'll send you guys the link. Um, it is not up at the moment, but I will include it with the videos when I send it out to you guys. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I'd love to help you or give you a refresher on anything that we discussed in the videos or during training uh, when you pick pull it up today. But uh, anyways, enjoy it. Enjoy them. 
uh, have a good time um, and keep the standard high if you can. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right, goodbye.